Hello, the story I have for you today is called Dark Day, Light Night. It is by Jan Carr and it is illustrated by James Ransom. Dark day, light night. Some days the whole world feels hateful, colorless like rain and clouds and murky as mud. I wish Bobby would fall down flat and break both his legs, I tell Aunt Ruby. Why don't you go out and get back in the game, she asks. Because Bobby grabbed the ball right out of my hands, I shout. I've told Aunt Ruby the whole story already. We've been through it at least ten times. I'm getting under the covers, I say, and staying there. Ooh, she must be feeling mad. Someone took the ball right out of her hands. Aunt Ruby peers at me through squint eyes. She tells me that when I get this way, it might make me feel better if I can think of some things I like. She gets out a pen and paper. Go ahead, Manda, she says. Tell me what it is you like in this world. Patches nudges me with his cold, wet nose. Nothing, I say. And I can tell that she's not going to leave me alone until I can come up with a better answer. So I say, beds, because that's the thing my eyes resting on. I say pillows. I say teddy bears, dresser drawers, big old wet dog snouts. I rattle off everything I see in the room, and I figure that should do it. Aunt Ruby thinks otherwise. Wider, she says. I think of Bobby and how he laughed at me when he grabbed the ball away. What's so great about liking anything, I said. So we're on Ruby's having her make a list of things she likes. I wonder why. And Ruby's lips twitch into a smile. She looks out the window. The light fades late this time of year, she says, as if that's some kind of answer. Then Aunt Ruby pulls another piece of paper from her pocket. This one's all folded up and worn thin at the creases. I have a list of my own, she says. You do? How come? Because, she winks, sometimes I feel like you do now. Aunt Ruby invites me into the crook of her arm and I nestle there while she reads her list out loud. Aunt Ruby has a voice deep as dusk and hushed as trees. I close my eyes so I can see everything she describes. Hmm. What do you think will be on Aunt Ruby's list? One thing I like, she says, is that cream-colored tomcat that visits our window. I like to set out a bowl of food for him and watch the pretty way he licks his paws after he finishes his dinner and his belly is happy and full. Meow, I say. I bear my claws and scratch at the air. Aunt Ruby reads on. On hot nights like these, I like when your mama takes down the big china bowl and mixes together blueberries, strawberries, chunks of peaches, and any other sweet, bright fruits we brought that day at the market. All the colors together are like painting a picture, I say. Aren't they? All that juice glistening. Music, I pipe in, is music on the list? It is indeed. I like it when old Mr. Franklin comes over to play his saxophone, and Callie drifts in along with the heat and gets to singing along. She sings sweet. Sweet as sunshine, Aunt Ruby says. Sunshine, I cry out. Did you write sunshine down? That looks fun. Right here. But some days, Aunt Ruby continues, dark suddenly, hinting danger. I like it when a storm blows in. When the sky sparks up lightning and the wind makes a mess of things just because it feels like it. You do? Well, sure, she chucks my chin. As long as you and I are safe inside. And when winter comes, I like to bundle us up in woolly layers so when we go outside, we're cozy warm. You and me and Patches, I say. I run my fingers through Patches' sleek, warm coat. I whistle high like winter wind.
What else? I changed the subject. I snuggled deeper into Aunt Ruby's arm. Well, when there's something special to celebrate, I like to put on a fancy dress and pin doodads in my hair and paint up my face like a queen. Me too, I shout. Oh, and I like the tight, damp curls on babies' heads. You had the tight little curls, you know that? I did. I did? Tight, tight, like they pinned up in the womb. I look out the window, my friend's playing. Aunt Ruby joins me. She shakes her head, just looking. What a pretty mess of children out there. All the many shaded skins were born to. All the beautiful faces. Look, I notice, the moon's out. So it is, fat and full. Aunt Ruby makes a sound that might be a sigh, but it sounds more like a purr. Creamy, like our town cat. Do you think she'll do? She starts to fold up her list. And don't think I forgot the most important thing of all, she says. She plants a kiss on my forehead. I like you. You do, I whisper. I feel a little shy. Aunt Ruby's got me thinking that I like me pretty much too. It can be so nice to feel like someone likes us. Outside my window, Bobby's caught the ball. He's holding it high above his head, like he's some kind of big shot, but I know better. I like to play ball, I think, and sometimes when he's nice, I even like to play with Bobby. Aunt Ruby guesses at the thoughts buzzing in my brain. You know, she says, you still have time to go out and play a while before it's time for bed. Do you think she'll go out and play? She did. She's out playing now. I'll tell you what I really, really like. I like my Aunt Ruby. And that's the end. Aunt Ruby's idea is a great idea. Sometimes when you feel very upset about something or very angry or very sad, you can write down things that make you happy or draw pictures of them, and that can help you to feel better. I hope you like this story. I liked reading it to you. I'll see you later.